Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the redox reaction. So, so many of students are having problem what is called redox reaction and what are the special features of these redox reactions. So, here in this video, we are going to discuss about these redox reactions, their special features and how we are going to memorize these redox reactions. And apart from that, I will also show you one lab activity related to these redox reactions, how the electrons are involved in this redox reaction. So, let's start with the video. So, first this redox I have spelled in two different colors. So, it is actually made up of two different words. This RED stands for reduction. And this OX stands for oxidation. And these two terms are collectively mentioned as redox. And why we are doing this? Because these reactions cannot occur alone. These two occur simultaneously. So no reduction without oxidation is occur and no oxidation without reduction of some part of the reaction occur. So these two go hand in hand. That is why we call them redox reaction. Right? And this redox reaction I will explain in reference to the reaction KMnO4 versus glycerin. And this glycerin is also known as glycerol. And its IUPAC name is propane 1, 2, 3 triol. So these two are same, right? So let's start with the redox reaction. Here, this as I told you earlier, this redox is the composition of two different words one is reduction and the oxidation so here we are first to discuss about the special features of reduction and oxidation what is called reduction and what is called oxidation while a reaction is going on so here i have summarized related to this reduction that is gain of electron or we can say in that reactant addition of hydrogen takes place or removal of oxygen takes place or we can also say that decrease in oxidation it takes place so all these four out of these four if any one of these you can easily recognize then you can say this reactant is going to be reduced right and opposite to this oxidation is loss of electrons and here addition of hydrogen, here removal of hydrogen, here removal of oxygen, addition of oxygen, here decrease in oxidation state and here we are having increase in oxidation state. Oxidation is just opposite to this reduction. How we are going to understand? So suppose I am having KMnO4 as, a, as one of the reactant and we all know that KMnO4 is a very strong oxidizing agent. So the term again here confusing. We used to say it is an oxidizing agent. But at the same time we say it get reduced. So how we can say these two contradictory terms or how we are going to understand. So this KMnO4 is called oxidizing agent because it gains the electron from the other reactant which is present in the reaction. It means that reactant loses the electrons. So if it is loses the electron, therefore that reactant get oxidized or the oxidation of that reactant takes place. So this oxidation takes place just because KMnO4 gains the electron therefore it itself get reduced it gains the electron from the other reactant so other reactant has to lose the electrons so if it has to lose the electron it get oxidized right so that is why this KMnO4 is called oxidizing agent but it itself get reduced means its oxidation state going down that I will explain in the next slide in more detailed way now we are going to discuss about the oxidation of a reactant. So here we are having glycerin and this glycerin works as a reducing agent. 
but it itself get oxidized so how you are going to understand this this glycerin provided electron to this KMnO4 so because of this glycerin this get reduced so that is why it is a reducing agent so this reducing or oxidizing tendency is preferred with respect to the other reactant which is present in the reaction whether it is oxidizing agent or reducing it now i will show you the reaction of kmno4 and glycerin right so here we are having kmno4 as one of the reactant and this is our glycerin molecule and this glycerin and KMnO4 reacts together and we get this many products, right? So, here what we are seeing that this KMnO4 is having Mn with oxidation state plus 7. So, how we are going to measure this? First question. Second question is that why only Mn is considered to determine oxidation? Why not potassium? Why not so the answer of the second question is that we are going to measure the oxidation state of the central metal usually right so here mn works as a central metal so we are going to measure the oxidation state of this manganese right so here oxidation of state how we are going to calculate this so here we are having this potassium so potassium is having plus 1 valency plus Suppose Mn is having X valency plus here we are having 4 as a subscript of oxygen. So first write 4 multiply. This oxygen is having minus valency, right? So after solving this equation, we are having 1 plus X minus 8. And after solving this, we are getting X is equal to 7. So this is how we come to know that Mn in this KMnO4 is in the oxidation state of plus 7, right? So I hope you understand this. Now, here this Mn converted to Mn2O3. So we are going to check the oxidation state of this Mn in the product, right? So how we are going to check? Here we are having 2 as a subscript of this Mn. So 2 times x if x is its oxidation state plus here we are having 3 as a subscript so 3 into oxygen again is having minus 2 so minus 2 this 0 means this molecule is neutral having no charge so that is why it is having 0 and here also i return 0 now this after solving this 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 and we are having x is equal to plus 3. So in this product we are having Mn in plus 3 oxidation state. So what you infer here? Oxidation state of Mn decreases from plus 7 to plus 3. So how it is going to be decreased? It is decreased by gaining the electron. This, how it is gaining the electrons that I will show you in the next. So, here we are having oxidation state of Mn in KMnO4 plus 7 and in Mn2O3 plus 3. Here, what we are seeing is there is a decrease in oxidation state. This decrease in oxidation state occur by gain of electron. How it is so? That I will tell you. We are having plus 7. And how we can get this plus 3? If we add minus 4 here. So minus 4 means 4 electrons. Electron is having negative charge. So if we are adding to this minus 4, only then we get plus 3. It means to this KMnO4, 4 electrons are added or it gains 4 electron to change its oxidation state from plus 7 to plus 3. So this is how we are having oxidation state here on the right side or in the product side that manganese is having plus 3 oxidation state by gaining the electrons. So if oxidation state is decreases or we are having the gain of electrons then we say reduction takes place. So reduction of Mn is taking place but oxidation at the same time, these electrons are produced from this glycerin. 
so oxidation of this glycerin just because of this KMnO4 takes place. So this KMnO4 works as an oxidizing agent to this glycerin, and this glycerin since it's because of this KMnO4 gains the electron. This glycerin works as reducing agent for KMnO4 since it gets reduced in the reaction. So this is how we can understand that Mn get reduced and act as oxidizing agent. Now I am showing you the lab activity related to this KMnO4 and glycerin. So first we are going to take this KMnO4 in a porcelain dish because it is heat resistant. Now to this we are adding glycerin solution. So I am adding glycerin to this without dilution. And here, here you can see the fumes. The reaction is self catalyzed exothermic. So, here you can see the burning. So, it is auto catalyzed reaction, and this much heat is generated. So, it burns itself. So, this is the beauty of this redox reaction here in this case. Now, I will show you the crackling sound of this reaction. <laughs> So guys I hope you like this video and you find it informative. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.